Okay, good morning. Thank you for uh, allowing me to pull you off the, uh, off the exhibition for a five minutes chat. Can you tell me a little bit about who you are and what you do? Thank you, Sarah. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, so I'm Milo, I'm the head of business development at Informatica and Informatica is a Polish American company that um, works with, with some of the world's biggest uh, health insurance companies and the way we work with them is that we support them in redu redu reduction of unnecessary healthcare claims mostly in outpatient setting and the way we do it is by empowering their patient portals and member portals with AI driven triage and preliminary medical diagnosis that can advise their members on what they should do when they have a, a symptom, they feel unwell so that we can make sure that we provide them the right information that they can uh, use to decide whenever they should go to a doctor and if so, to what kind of doctor they should go. So it's all about making sure that your members are at the right place at the right time. So it's like an AI doctor? It is. It is a pre-doctor. So we are not replacing a physician. We are supporting a physician. Um, so we can think of it as uh, a virtual GP assistant that can help you decide what you should do and if you're really sick and how serious your condition might be. That is incredible. Tell me about the, the back end. It's obviously API driven. There's, mm -hmm. Tell me about the back end. I'm not technical, but yeah. talk to me about how you get this information and, and, and know that the pre-doctor information that's given is correct. Definitely. And that's a very, very important question. So, you know, in the medical field, everything needs to be evidence-based. So there is a lot of uh, fuzz about chat GPT and I think it's created great potential for the communication and empathy. However, it's not evidence-based when it comes to critical things such as medical mm. interviews. So everything we do is evidence-based. So every single connection in our system between symptom, condition, lab test, question we might add, ask, is sourced back to a peer-reviewed medical source in literature. So this way we can always explain what is the ultimate source, evidence-based of the question or information we provide you as a patient. So it means that, first of all, doctors absolutely love us because they can exactly validate what we are doing and, and how medically accurate it is. Um, so this is the core of the technology. So it's evidence-based data from literature. And this is something that is being curated by a team of over 60 doctors that are working for Informatica at the moment, uh, internationally. Um, and then we also use machine learning um, to, to generate uh, clusters and recognize trends in how people use our technology and then use it to recommend what things we can improve in our technology. But of course, we only do it as, you know, we can, we can confirm that according to research, it's something that is an actual improvement. How old is the company? So um, 11 years old officially, wow. um, but we have, we started working on technology much, much earlier than that. So, um, you know, we are a team of about 260 people. When I joined the company seven years ago, it was about eight. So wow. we experienced some exponential growth uh, over the last couple of years. Absolutely incredible. I think it's phenomenal what you're doing. Tell me what the benefit to you is of being here at ITC DIA. First of all, a lot of decision makers for insurance companies and most importantly, decision makers who are oriented on innovation and are willing to not only invest their money but their time as well into understanding the potential opportunities um, and and also plenty of our customers are here so it's always great to say hi especially that you know a big chunk of our customer group were signed during the during COVID, so we did not have many chances to see them in person so that gives us this uh, this chance not only to get a new business but also to to meet our current friends and say hi you know have a drink that's always a great great occasion and uh, I, I i'm very glad to be back uh, on ITC. Well, I'm really grateful to you for your time in having a chat with me. Um, I think what you're doing is great, uh, absolutely phenomenal, and uh, I'd, I'd like to follow your journey, so thank you. Thank you, Sarah. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.